You got like six baskets of fries. And I could have done three more. I got two. Hello, friends. Coming to you live from Butler Cabin. Just kidding. <laughs> wait, wait. Butler Cabin is the master's. Jim Nance has it. That was my Jim Nance impression. We're coming to you live from Turning Stone. Across the street from Turning Stone. Because some of us are a little too cheap to pay for a hotel this inside Turning Stone. Just kidding. They didn't have no rooms available over to stay at Turning Stone. But the reason why we're all here together is because one of us is leaving. This is our third video together. And it's going to be the last. For because... Now. Somebody got a big boy job. Can't say what he's doing, but it's a big boy job. Right? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. Someone say that. Yeah. Someone, Someone say someone. that. But we're going to make it a last hurrah. We got three, I would say, impressive bottles on the table. It's not every day you come across E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, Whistle Pig 15 Barrel Pick, and then we have a Smoke Wagon Barrel Pick too. And we're going to go Smoke Wagon, Whistle Pig. H. Taylor. I feel like I'm the only one talking. Because you are the only one talking. Anybody else got anything to say? That's a no. <laughs> so, for the first bottle, we're going to go into Smoke Wagon Barrel Picks. If anybody knows Smoke Wagon, they stopped doing barrel picks. So, this one's from Rochester, New York. I work for Pascal's. Shout out Pascal's. Upstate New York. Central New York. We got a barrel pick. Rochester got the other barrel pick. There's been a little fight between the two because Pascal's got to pick the first barrel and Rochester claims that they got the worst of the two barrels. So I had ours. I don't think you guys. I did. You had it? Yeah. You had it. Middleman here, Alden. No, you didn't have Pascal's, did you? I don't think I even tasted it, man. No, I don't know. His opinion means so nothing. There was very his, little left when got to me. His opinion means nothing. So really, Adam and Adam are going to be really talking about this video, because we can compare the two. <laughs> Alden's just here for the ride. <laughs> Ron that going in. <laughs> it's crazy how much these have gone up a bit. I don't even know how much is in here, so we'll just like pour it and then keep passing it along. Take the bottle and pour it. Um, this is an eight year. All the private barrels range in years. I think what twelve? I think twelve is, is the most. Twelve is the most. Was Pascal's also an eight? Yeah, they were both eights. So only two barrels came to New York due to the distributor. Do you know how many barrel picks they did overall? How many? Yeah, before they quit the program. Uh, geez, I said to share it, not just you. Just you just come to the bar too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did you take it all? I don't think so. No. Oh. Ooh. Here, finish this up. <laughs> this is Ooh. Sizable, right, there you go. Alright. Okay. Eight year. Smoke Wagon, I'd say probably one of the hottest brands in the market right now for bourbon, although I feel like they've gone down a little bit. I don't think so. You know, I think it's just such an interesting thing because it's like one of those where it was it, absolutely nothing and then all of a sudden just way through the ceiling. But the way, like, I don't think that they're going down only because, like, there's just so much excitement. So, like, for instance, when they did the red, white, and blue, and now just the Halloween edition. It's marketing genius. Yeah. There's yeah, going to be a Christmas bottle. I oh, guarantee sure. it. It has to be. I guarantee it. It's going to be Santa with his reindeer. <laughs> and then the new limited edition, and they're always doing the raffles. I really, I really hope it's Aaron as dressed up as Santa. Yo, that would be he, he could pass as a pretty good Santa. He could. So. I'm not getting a lot in the Like I said. Oh, yeah. Rochester got an eight year, Syracuse got an eight year. Everybody claims that Pascal's got the better of the two barrels. You know, it's got like brighter fruit, like uh, like strawberries, raspberries, kind of like in that realm. And another thing to go off of, not to cut you off, which I do so well. <laughs> um, but do you agree? I, I do agree for the like. Couple times. That's like second time ever. Second history. time ever. Oh, no, we'll I went second time. We'll go third time. Third time that I agree with all of them. But not for nothing. We tried the rare and limited. Again, all of them in the middle. Did what? When did you just try that? We got samples, it? exclusive samples from a exclusive. side person, which you know who you are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know who you are too. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but he doesn't know who you are. Just kidding, he does know who you are <laughs> for reasons undisclosed. Um, 
you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, the Rare and Limited. Well, now I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? The Rare and Limited Batch 1 was an 8 year. This is strictly an 8 year. So it's very interesting to see how this compares not only to the Rare and Limited, but to Syracuse's as well. So really, like. It's all the same thing. As an initial, I liked Syracuse's pick over the Rare and Limited. Personally. So did I. I had a Rare Limited and I sold it. After trying the sample, I thought it, I mean, it was good, but it was really no different than any other juice you could get on the market because it's all it, MGP. It's all that. MGP, but what he's really good at, Aaron, I don't even know if he's the one that really does it. I'm assuming he does. He's just really good at blending the barrels together. I think he is the blender, yeah. He's even, yeah. Which would be even better because. Well, but that, that doesn't market. even make sense for this because these are single barrels. Yeah. So just good at picking barrels. Yeah, blending. so it's gonna be different it's anyways. So that just completely just. But but I guess was batch one a blend or was that? No, it was 100 percent an eight year. But it was multiple. Elevator barrels. batch was. A it was blend. multiple barrels of an eight year though, right? Because it was a thousand bottles of it. Probably yes. Anyways, it doesn't smell like it's gonna be that um sweet. Very but mellow, nice. very mellow nose. A little yeah. bit of fruit. You get a little heat on the on the nose, just a touch. Oh, and you get the heat. But it's good heat. It's really good. You get the heat, but there's it's no good heat to it. But it's a good burn. Mm -hmm. It's it's nice. There's a very nice sweetness to it. And it's not a very it's a, it's fairly viscous, like it just yeah. kinda goes down, but it does coat it enough where like it's a really nice prolonged taste afterwards. I, I get what Nick was saying. Like the, now he has to go back and forth between each one. They're very they're very close. They're very close. But I'm gonna be biased because I work for Pascal's so and I'm gonna say that Pascal's was better pick. This came out at eighty dollars. <laughs> I don't know what Rochester so it's interesting because this came from the Rochester Facebook page. It, it wasn't, wasn't sold store. it wasn't in a store. So, so I don't know it was MSRP. I don't know what MSRP on it. But MSRP typically is 80 bucks for a barrel pick. Um, yeah, like what was Syracuse's when it went on? 120? Yeah. That's what I did, but. Um, well, you're wrong. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. If you knew that that was the last barrel pick they were going to ever get, well, yeah. for quite some time, um, they are very close. But I will say that I think this is still better than Rare Limited. I would agree, yeah. The Rare Limited just didn't taste It like didn't do special. any justice to me. I mean, it's no different. I could go buy an MGP bottle on the shelf, really... and it didn't stand out. Like, it for it being stand... Rare and Limited, like, it really wasn't... Ooh. Well, comparing it to Uncut, it was literally it, the exact it was, same it was thing. very similar. To very similar. Yeah, so if you don't... Filter, it's already really good. Yeah, yeah, so, so if you, really you don't it's have... It's not, not a bad bottle by any means, but the value it's going for. Yeah, so if you don't have a Rare and Limited, really don't sweat it. Just get Uncut Unfiltered. It's... Pretty close. You got like six baskets of fries! And I could have done three more! I got two! <laughs> well, that's... you fucked up. Alright, alright, easy now. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome back. We have... Whistlepig. 15. Estate Oak Rye. But not just any 15-year barrel. It's a special 15-year barrel. It's a barrel pick! That came from Washington, D.C. Undisclosed store. Couldn't... I... They told me the store, and I... I don't know. Because when you look it up, like, I don't know what. I don't know, because it says that it's from Mission Impossible. So it's kind of like Rochester Barrel Picks. Like, it's not a store. I feel, oh, like, so I feel like Mission Impossible was a group yeah. in the Washington, D.C. area. Or a store named their bottle. like some of them did Yeah, it was bottles. something very weird. Um, but that's still cool, because, I mean, you just don't see 15-year-old store picks that's why this no it's so special that, and that's why i jumped on it because like for the price of this it was the exact same price of a regular 15 year that just sits on the shelf so and then the guy who sold it to you tell you that it sold out in like one or two days yeah it was there was, was, was like a line was, the there was a line out the door it, it sold out pretty quick and he just happened to get one i don't even know how he opened this box on the right yeah, side oh no it's tape continue talking guys <laughs> so i've had <laughs> What have you had? So, so we have actually done a couple tapes before. We had the 12 before. and 15, right? Yeah, we had the 12, yeah, the 15, and oh no, we just had the 12 and the 15. Yeah. So we technically know what the 15, oh that wouldn't be good to say, Jesus what the 15 Christ. tastes like. So the 15, I, in my opinion, when we tried the two, this was only like a few weeks ago. 
Um, I thought the 15 was very good and flavorful, but it didn't taste like a rye to me. But I feel like the age mellowed out that like traditional rye spice you get. And it was just kind of overwhelming sweetness and a little bit of oak, um, which wasn't a bad thing. But if you're really a fan of rye, it it's almost doesn't drink like a rye. So I'm curious to see how this single barrel compares to that. And like the, um, yeah, because this would be, but yeah, this would be much closer to the to the um, to the other fifteen, and even like the seven and the ten, because the twelve is different. Because it's got the, it's aged in the what is it? The twelve is aged in like three different types of barrels. It's a blend like of Madeira. like Madeira port and like cab or something. I don't think this one. I don't think this. This is just a state oak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're gonna get that one straight taste so it's from very it. Open. I mean, I personally love the 12 because it has that kind of like layer of flavor on it, but that's 12, just me. 12 is fantastic. Um, but like we also have the, the piggyback. I'm still not a fan of the, the piggyback. That's the only piggyback. They just came out with a new one that was, we the talked rogue about stock. on our, the road sock that we talked about on our last video. Yeah. You gave me shit for it. Um, Ooh, look at that nice top. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Feel that. <laughs> <laughs> that is wow, a weight. That's, that's what you're. That, all the 15 year bottles like that? I have no idea. But that's what you're paying for. I mean, that's, yeah, that, man. that's solid. Well, I think you so. probably scrapped that for like 20 bucks. I know. <laughs> well, the uh, the 18 is it's like a glass. It's a real nice glass decanter. I mean, 18. Look in the Boss Hog. It's, it's from crazy. Danforth. Danforth? That's what it says. Danforth, USA. Oh, that's probably where it's distilled. Oh, is it? All right, I thought they made like the thing. Here, okay. you want for us? Sure. Our computer. No, I think that's where this metal was made. And Danforth. Is it pewter or silver alloy? Maybe I'm about even. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're done with the bottle cap. Uh, we're going to talk about the bottle now and the liquid that's inside it. Very nice bottle cap, I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, that that's an interesting point because usually with any sort of liquid or whatnot, the packaging costs more than the actual liquid. Fun fact. Wow, we really just like put a dent in yeah, that. Right, right. <laughs> we are not doing that with the barrel proof. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Adam, you can pour it. Yes, I will. I will. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> Adam. I'm also Adam. <laughs> He's Alden. We forgot to do that again. <laughs> this is Whiskey <laughs> Thousand Dater Dots. <laughs> Coming to you live. You have to edit that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Just us laughing and smelling whiskey. Alright, so wow. normally I can... It's interesting. It's very I'm, sweet. I'm very yeah. good at picking out a rye on the nose. I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess. This is a little bit tougher, and I feel like I said the exact same thing about the 15 year that we had that wasn't a barrel pick. But take like a real big, don't take like a like a, a normal smoke, take like a real nice big one. I get one. a hint of like the spice. I think you really gotta take it in if you wanna get the spice. But I mean, if you're smelling it like you're trying to, like we do like fairly lightly, you're not gonna pick it up like you guys just said. And I think like that 15 year, I mean, we know with bourbon, essentially like the second that you hit the, even like past the 12 year, the 15 year. It's like, like Elijah Craig. It's I, a different thing. I hated the 18 year. Yeah. But I've also had, well, I've had a couple of bottles of the 18. There's been some 18s I like and some 18s that I hate. But I feel like I could go with anything. But the 12. I'm okay. like excited to try this because it smells it's very like appealing. So, so yeah, what do you get on those? I mean, obviously like there is a ton of sweetness. I, that's like, it's overpowering. It's like a molasses almost. Like, it's not very thick, but it's just like, it's so condensed. And I think also like I get like darker berries, like almost not like blackberry, that's not right, but... I'm telling you, I'm, I'm pulling all the on this one. What do you got? Dill pickles. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> think about, think about, think about dill pickles and then you smell well, that. Pause the video, I gotta get him a COVID test, you might not be able to smell. No, but I don't get that because, I mean, really? if you're saying... So when I said dill pickles, what I was actually getting was that spice mixed with the a little bit of You don't get a little you're bit of dillness. Dill, you're getting the dill more than the pickle, I think. Yes, yeah, the dill spice. Yeah, you get dill. I can see like I. It's a dilly dill spice. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna try it. I think like you're saying like maybe like a touch of like herbalness, but like no, I don't really get that. Like when you like pull out a pickle from a pickle jar, you put the pickle on your plate. All right, fine. You got that juice on your hand. That's what I get. Not the actual pickle. The dill. The dilly dill. I'll give you that. Okay. Only to you guys. 
take your sips to, to give my initial impression. Ooh, it's very good. It's much better on the palate than it is the nose. I agree. It's, it's more complex. I, I, once again, I wouldn't have guessed rye if I tried this blind, I don't think. Really? It's very oaky, very sweet. It's very yeah. oaky, it's very earthy, it's very tree. Tree, I think it's like a piney. Yes. Birch. Yes. Birch. Birch. <laughs> Throwing it back to day one. <laughs> Look how far we've come. All the actually. <laughs> Speaking of that, Alden got a shout out because they recognized them. Yeah, we were in the store. <laughs> Shit, what's the guy's thing? <laughs> oh dear. This is how we're much we're watching you... this. <laughs> he doesn't care about it. We <laughs> will have you on the show, <laughs> and you're our biggest fan. But I'm sorry, I don't DM remember. us. <laughs> But no, we uh, was, we were in a store, and it's like, oh, that's you guys. I'm like, you know. What? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Back, it's, there, it's, very... it's just it's such a like a full bodied flavor. Like it takes over your mouth. It's just so nice. But in a good way. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Cause it doesn't like it doesn't build up. The flavor doesn't build up. It's there. It's nice lingering like sweetness. It doesn't really burn. It makes you maybe like a little bit warm. This would be great in the winter. I love the oak flavor on this. Yeah, it, it kind of—it's not very similar. It's to very the, well balanced. The Dickel 15, but it gives me that same oak feeling as the Dickel 15, where it's like, because sometimes the oak is overbearing on certain things, like that Woodenville pick that we tried. Yeah, it's a little too much oak. I like, no, I feel like that was just a bad barrel pick. But I feel like this—the oak is like fantastic. On this. I think it's interesting that you bring up the Dickel 15 because. The age is kind of similar, but like I agree with what everyone says now why they hated the Dickel 15. Um, because it's just like musty. Like it's yeah, like I a kinda, barrel I that's gone love that must, though. bad. And on this, like. It, it's not at all. It's not, not no, but like that earthiness is still kind of there. The earthy and the oaky yeah. is still yeah. very. This is really good. This is very good. But I must say, between the 12 and the 15, so like the 12. So like the 12. I'm still going to the 12. I don't regret painting this or buying this bottle, but between the two, 12 is still my favorite. Across the road of Turning Stone Casino <laughs> in upstate New York. Verona, New York. Verona, New York. Verona. You, you didn't even say that right. Verona, New York. <laughs> Ver you said Verona, New like, York. You said like an accent on it. Verona. All right, we've gone through the smoke wagon, we've gone through the whistle pick 15 store pick, we've gone through five other barrels, bottles. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we are now... Who's drunk? Go home. <laughs> we are now on the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, which is actually an incredibly impressive bottle, which, how'd you get a hold of this? Actually, we got it in a lottery from a store in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. <laughs> you know what the best part about this bottle is? It's not the bottle itself. I keep looking at this. It's the packaging. <laughs> it's the, we'd love to hear from our customers in the number. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the best part about this whole thing. At www.greatbourbon.com. Yes, we would like more exclusivity to your products. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would like to never ever see this in a single store in my entire life. I would like to not see that in a store for $499. But you know you will. But that's not what you paid. You, you got a really good deal on it. Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. Pretty much MSRP, I believe. I think, Which it, I think it was MSRP. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, some people say it's 80, some people say it's 100. I don't know. I feel like it fluctuates between batches. states. This is the 2020 batch, the so batch 9. So, what have we had between us? We've had the small batch, we've had the rye, we've had the single barrel. That's it. We're not, That's it. We're not lucky enough oh, to yeah. have yeah, yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> so we're going to have, have a no warehouse no, no warehouse flood scene, survivor no turn tornado surviving although you know they're Fort saying Marine. that next year each taylor is gonna have the forgotten george t stag barrels so which would be i well, that's i really hope that would ha that would be, that'd be, that'd be, cool that'd be like, the greatest marketing scheme of the world george t stag <laughs> i'm calling it right now wash, they did the wash stag george t stag barrels i'm telling you they did it on purpose i will bet you anything that they did it on purpose i don't think they did I mean, it's a risk. You think about it. George C. Stagg is a 15-year. To put juice in a 15-year barrel and hope that it turns out the same way that you expect every other 15-year prior to it to turn out, I mean, that's it's a tall task. I mean, you would think there would have to be a flaw in there somewhere. Yeah, but at the same time, like what we were talking about before and right now, so 
you say there's going to be no launch. You've just doubled the price on every single bottle. Before they don't care that. about secondary though. I mean, they could. do they or do they not? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I mean, you don't know what they got going on the back end. And then the second thing is, then they just open up a, uh, then they just release a, a special edition. I find it very funny that they still put the bottle and bond style. I feel like they have to. But it's not bottle and bond. That is. It has no, it's not. Yes, it is. It legally it's has barrel to be. proof. Barrel yeah. proof means can't be bottled and bond. It, on, nowhere on here does it say bottled oh, and bond. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But they still put the sticker on it. Yeah, you to can't bottle and bond because bottle and bond. It's a single barrel and the small batch of bottle and bond because they're both hundred proof. Huh. This is. Yeah, yeah but what's the proof bond. on it? Hundred thirty. Oh, do they handwrite that? Yeah. Wow. Hundred thirty. Hundred thirty point three. This will be fun. Well, well, you should call them out. Was, but they what but no nowhere on here doesn't say bonded. No, it just it says barrel proof. Barrel proof. And it has the, the uh oh, smart. Don't know who that is. Um, they have a picture on top of some random person. And then well, I guess when it was barrel, two thousand four Edmund like, Haynes Junior, that's the person. Was born in Kentucky in eighteen thirty. Well, After this, moving to Louisiana with his great uncle Zachary Taylor right, right, as a th- boy. I th- I think that we're diverging. I was just giving bit. the fans well, a history lesson. Like it was $700. Do you hear that? That's a pop. <laughs> I expect a hefty pour. Alright. <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez, I'd go get more at the Evergreen. Yes, you could. <laughs> but it wouldn't be free. <laughs> I bring all keep these going, bottles tonight. Going, I bring going. Whistle Pig. Actually, you wagon, know, that's a really Rock good Hell, <laughs> Booker's, and this is all I get. You want he, some more? What he paid for. Actually, 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 actually. Let's that's, make up. You want some more? What he paid for on that is double what you paid for on the. <laughs> This and I gave you a, a pr- I gave you a very generous. You gave me like a three ounce pour. <laughs> it's fine. I'll save it for the ten dollar Napa Valley wine that we're gonna have later. It's fantastic ten dollar Napa Valley wine. <laughs> you can have a full glass of that. <laughs> have a whole bottle of it if you like. <laughs> okay. Anyway, did I pour them evenly at least? Probably not. <laughs> I probably got the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, watch now. He's gonna get more than me, and now I'm the. Yeah, oh, fuck you. Out. That's why. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. This is Adam's bottle. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I got it. I ain't <laughs> Trust me. I ain't letting it go anywhere. Instant karma. <laughs> all right, Adam. Talk about it. What do you mean talk about it? It's your bottle. Yeah, I man. talked about the smoke wagon and the whistle. What pick. do you got? What do you got? I don't really know much about it. <laughs> I never see it anywhere, and I was really happy when I won it. I did get to try this. Let's talk about thing. let's talk about the time when you found out that you won it. <laughs> so this I was, man was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I was I was at, at the time I was working at a liquor store, and a, a representative just come in <laughs> with about fifteen bottles of bourbon, Armagnac, some um, barrel strength rum from Jamaica, and I was I was I was having a good time, and then I look at my phone. And I see that I was tagged in the post from this, uh... Call up the store. You don't store. remember the store, do you? It was, you uh, went a bottle like this, do you don't remember where you got it? It was a ShopRite liquor store in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, they had been doing a raffle. They have been dragging a raffle out, I'll tell you what. I mean, they started announcing names about a month before I won this. Oh, is that the one where you kept, like, every day? Yeah, every day you could put in one, one name, or your uh-huh. name once. And only 900 people entered. And about half those people didn't pick up their bottles, so there are still... Four bottles of George T. Stag, two bottles, three bottles You're of kidding. Happy. Really? Well, I picked it up because it's all over MSRP, but it's all like half of secondary or under half of secondary. That's crazy. My um, so I actually had her enter for the Elmer T. Lee hundred year anniversary bottle again because they, <laughs> they they reopened it. Yeah. When did you? Well, to, to be determined. It's not here. Not yet. <laughs> this, this was like this week. <laughs> I, I've had the hundred year. It's really not worth it. I would sell it. <laughs> I would trade it for Pappy very quickly. <laughs> Is there any difference between the hundred year and the regular? Ah, uh, there's a slight difference. Very. So no. No. <laughs> would you like your Alan J. Lee back? Yes. Are you gonna get it back? No. Continue, Adam. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was very, very excited to win this. Um, Did you win it? Yeah, this was on this one. This one was, was in my. Or was name. it your girlfriend's this was, name? This was in my name. Okay. The, mid- the Midwinter Nights Dram was in my girlfriend's name. 
Shout out to Rihanna. Thank you. I love you. Rihanna. Rihanna. Not the singer. Very close though. No. <laughs> well, that's kind of mean. The fuck. That <laughs> is mean. That's a shot. Can she hold a note? Yes. Uh, you yes. thought about it for a no, minute. He did. You he thought paused, about he it. Paused, Rihanna. You thought about it. <laughs> All right, all right, getting us back on track. So the the um the nose on this, you know, I was trying Sorry, to think. Rihanna. I had like a solid four minutes. Be nice minutes. to my girlfriend. I love you. I had a solid four minutes to think about what I got on this because it was confusing me a little bit. And so like you're obviously you're getting the heat. It's 130. If you didn't get the heat, like that would be my bottom way. But you get the heat a little bit. I mean, it's this man real just shot sweet. Stag Junior like it was nothing for <laughs> for New Year's. So this is nothing compared to him. You know what I get is. I want to say graham cracker, and like I what I'm taking. There it spice. is. Every video we do, there's always that one no, 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 adjective no, 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 no. that Alden has to put in. No, no, no. But follow me on this. So that really heavy sweetness on it, like it's like a dry sweetness almost. I, I so do. on the graham cracker. No. You really get graham cracker. No, I don't get graham cracker, Thank but you. I get a little bit of baking spice, which I could associate with a graham cracker. And like the the Hot oak spice? on it. I guess I'm associating that with like a sort of like baked good, the cracker. Well, okay. Well. I don't get any fruit or anything. It's really nice sweetness. The oak, the dryness. Hmm. Well, wow. pretty smooth for 130. It really is. Some proof. That could be dangerous. It's got a little bit of a burn to it, but not but not much. That could be very dangerous. That's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I did try this once before. Someone brought me a sample of it. Um, the, I get a lot of nuttiness from it, like tree nuts. Yes. Yeah, but was that sample this? Yeah, yeah. Sam Dodge. Right it's good. That's bringing me back. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Is it a hundred dollars good? Yes. Yeah. Is it five hundred yeah. dollars good? No. 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 No, realistically, all in all, um, three very fantastic bottles. It was three really good bottles. Yep. Um, it's sad, saddens me to see you leave. Yeah, but it's just more barrel pick opportunities, you know? More barrel pick That's... opportunities. We're <laughs> going to meet up every four or five months. He's going to get stuff for me. I'm going to get stuff for him. I don't know what Alan's going to do. I'm, I'm in this triangle. <laughs> I'm in this love triangle as He's well. He's like in the Bermuda Triangle. You, He's you, like you. in the middle. <laughs> It's like it's like that game we used to play, like keep away when someone was in the middle, and throwing <laughs> balls over them, and they were like, "Yeah, we want to play too." That, that's monkey in the middle. <laughs> monkey in the middle. Um, no, it's definitely not the end. Um, but for whiskey thoughts and terror talks, this is the end. <laughs> yeah, fuck all um, <laughs> clean break. <laughs> um, we just tried smoke wagon, whistle pick, fifteen year barrel pick, and each Taylor barrel proof. Um, Last question that I have, rank the bottles. I feel like it's, not, it's, it's hard because they're so different. Yeah, but there's got to be one that stood out the most. Honestly, if I were going to something that I would want to drink regularly, I mean, none of these you're drinking regularly probably, but if I, was, <laughs> if, I, if I saw all three of these on my bar and I was on an average day, I think I'd go for the Whistle Pig. Really? It's very good. I, I think Smoke Wagon's the least. Bar Barrel Proof and Whistle Pig, very close for me. I'd put Whistle Pig slightly ahead because I, I am generally a fan of the rye profile over a bourbon profile. Um, yeah, that's my. You're next. But that's your first. What's your second and your third? Second is the Barrel Proof and third is the Smoke Wagon. You know, I was going to say, I was, I was actually going to say the smoke wagon first and the really? reason I say that is it's kind of like a little more middle of the road down the middle because I mean like you're getting and that's I was I would say that the whistle pick still has kind of like a, a slight ride profile it's like it's incredibly drinkable but like it's a like little ride. It is ride. yeah well surprisingly they no but we were talking about how in 15 was... years it like it started to drop off like I still think like it has a little more rye so it's down that path, and the barrel proof is just, I don't know, if you're drinking it every day, it's like drinking Stag Junior every day. Like, I can't do it. It's my favorite, but I can't that, do that it. That is another I mean, thing. You, a, a barrel so, proof is, is definitely a... You yeah. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've that, seen that, that you do it. 
Um, so I'm saying smoke wagon just like down the middle sort of thing. If I were to say the best out of all these, I'm gonna go with the whistle pick because it's just very refined, smooth, easy drinking. I think that the barrel proof is great, but I, I, there's just like an uneasy heat to it, which kind of gets to me. It's incredibly smooth, but the heat just gets to me. And like the the obtainium is like the same as that, and the stag juniors on the I, I do get similar to the obtainium where it's like that little bit of lingering heat. Yeah. But this it, one to me is like a little more harsh, like it's staying in my throat. Yeah. I love the flavor profile, but it's definitely not something yeah. I would I would look at every night of, of the week and say, I want I want that, you know. That's why I think the whistle pig stands out a little bit for me, because that is something I think I can drink every night if I hundred percent. If it was more accessible. Yeah. This is like a special occasion thing where it's like, you know, I'm feeling like having something a little higher test, a little higher, yep. yeah. more intense flavor. That's exactly where I'm at. If I had to pick, it'd be the 15 E.H. Taylor than the sm uh, Smoke Wagon. Yeah. Only because I thought that Pascal's was a better pick than Rochester. I got you, Nick. <laughs> Coming at 130 proof, it's one of the higher proof bourbons that... Yeah, I mean, obviously there are some like no, it's it's one it's good proofs. for what it is. It's 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 really good. It's really good, but it's like you said, what what all this said, it's you ain't taking shots of it. No, and if you are, you're laying a firecracker under your ass on New Year's Eve <laughs> <laughs> because that's what Alden did. <laughs> <laughs> and now I got a story for the rest of my life. <laughs> And I have video evidence, <laughs> which we may or may not put in this video right now. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit in there. <laughs> but that about sums this video up. This is Whiskey Thoughts and Tater Tots signing off with Adam for the final time. I hope no. not. All I'm final saying, time for a while. All I've got to say, it's time to go lose some money at Blackjack. Yes. No, 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 well, well, no, 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 I'm not playing at his Why table. Why did I agree? No. You said yes. I'm, you I'm said a, yes. I'm a win. Alden doesn't even know how to play blackjack. We had, we had to watch a YouTube tutorial. It started off with saying that the zero, the two to ten count as two to ten. The zero? There's no, there's no zero card in the deck, Alden. You have, but. you have a lot of faith in us right now if you're still watching. Pray we for thank us. you. Fans from day it's one. No bones day. For the last time, signing off with Adam. I'm Alden. I'm Adam drinking water. I'm Adam, and this has been Whiskey, Whiskey Thoughts, Thoughts and, and Tater, Tater Tots. Tots. Hey! <laughs> gang gang. No. <laughs> no. Cut.